So, today we're talking about warming up and how to warm up properly. The main purpose of warming up is to not only warm up your muscles, but also warm up your tendons and ligaments. If you do not warm up properly, you risk tearing or injuring a ligament or tendon. This takes a lot longer to recover than muscle. So if you damage one of those, a ligament or tendon, it takes a lot longer to repair or recover from. Something too important to remember when it comes down to strength training is that you cannot get stronger while injured. If you have injured a part of your body, especially a ligament or tendon, or even a muscle, it takes a lot longer to get stronger. So think, injury, no go. One of the biggest things you wanna look at is reducing the risk of injury. And by doing this, this is how you warm up properly. One of the biggest mistakes I see people do is warming up with weight on the bar or at least too much weight on the bar. Someone like myself, who lifts a decent amount of weight, still warms up with the bar for a squat, deadlift, and bench press. Three lifts that I do lift a lot of weight in. Not everyone does, but the biggest mistake I see is people warming up with 20 kilos on each side. This is silly, stop doing that. The strongest people in the world warm up with the bar. To get to that level of strength, you must have some knowledge on how to get stronger without getting injured. The most basic way to do this is to take the weight off the bar and learn the movement and practice the movement rep after rep after rep and slowly increase the weight. Not go straight to a working weight. As an example for myself, it may take up to 30 minutes before I even hit my working sets. That's how many warm-up sets I have to do to get there. Not everyone is blessed with this time, so there's other ways you can do this. Generally, I will prescribe warm-up sets or a set of warm-up um, activation exercises. So whether that be shoulders, glutes, abs, um, things like that. If you ever watched my videos on how I warm up, I always use the bar first and then increase the weight slowly till I get to my working sets. Why I do this is because I want to have the movement look exactly the same and feel exactly the same from my warm-up set all the way through to my working set. So example, your working weight for your bench press is 100 kilos and you're gonna perform five reps. This is exactly how I'd get you to warm up. I would get you to do five reps with just the bar. Then we would increase the total weight, including the bar, to 40 kilos. You'll do five reps again. We will then increase the total weight, including the bar, to 60 kilos. We do five reps again, at tempo, at control, the exact same speed and feel as you press the bar. Then we would increase to 80 kilos, same thing, five reps. Then we'll increase to 90 kilos, same thing, five reps. Then we'll increase to 100. Once you get your position, you set right, you do your five reps. This is counted as your first working set. All the others don't matter. This is not your working weight. This is sub-maximal to what your working weight is. So I do not count this as working sets. This is important to know with your own training so you do not undertrain. Very few people ever overtrain. There's very few people and clients I've met who actually have the mental intensity, capability of mental intensity to overtrain. Um, like I said, it's not something that's very common. So don't stress about going, oh, this is gonna fatigue me for my working sets because it won't, trust me.